speaking of churches, though, as we were moments ago, yesterday <laughs> we were uh, discussing the defeated Catholic priest, defrocked. Yeah. He, uh, he is staunchly pro-life, and he demonstrates that on social media all the time. And he does some colorful things, apparently, uh, to... You know, wake people up. Right, right. And we were trying to figure out what's the deal here. Like, uh, why did they, why did they kick him out of the priesthood? So Annie, what's her face? A- Amy, what's her face? Annie, Amy, what's her face? Uh, sent us a story that might explain a few things about this defrocked priest. Uh, Frank Pavoni had been investigated by his then diocese of Amarillo, Texas, for having placed an aborted fetus on oh. an altar. Okay, yeah, that that got attention, huh? He placed an aborted fetus on an altar and posted a video of it on two social media sites in 2016. Ooh-wee. Mm. So. Okay, well, he uh, made a point. But that was seven years ago. Yeah, I think he's just. He posts frequently about U.S. politics and abortion, and the video of the aborted fetus was accompanied by a post saying that Hillary Clinton and the Democratic platform would allow abortion to continue, and that Donald Trump and the Republican platform want to protect unborn children. It's true. I mean, those are facts. It's true. These these are facts. <laughs> uh, Pavoni remains a firm supporter of Trump. Maybe that's a problem for that. You know, his diocese. I don't know. Hmm. His Twitter handle features him wearing a MAGA hat. With a background photo featuring the former U.S. president, whom many conservatives praise for his Supreme Court nominees, and and uh, also his stance on abortion, by the way. So, so but, def- defrocked for being <clears throat> pro-life, effectively, and and pro-Trump. Yeah, yeah. Well, can you can you not? I mean, maybe the <clears throat> politics mixed with religion is a problem for maybe. him. I, I, I could see where that would. Is it though? Could be an issue. I, I wonder. I wonder, like, if he showed up at a like a drag. Queen show <clears throat> for kids. Mm-hmm. Would they be cool with that? They'd probably be like, eh, nah, I, I, I yeah, no whatever. Idea. I have no idea. <laughs> in a recent tweet, he sounded defiant, comparing his fate to that of the unborn. So, in every profession, including the priesthood, if you defend the unborn, you will be treated like them. The only difference is uh, that when we're aborted, we continue to speak loud and clear. Oof, man, he is outspoken. His supporters immediately denounced the measure, including the Bishop of Tyler, Texas, Joseph Strickland, who referred to U.S. President Joe Biden's support for abortion rights as evil. Thank you. Man, I appreciate it. When they say the truth, it is evil. The support by this government for abortion is evil. The blasphemy is that this... Holy priest is canceled while an evil president promotes the denial of truth and the murder of the unborn at every turn. Mm. Vatican officials promote immorality and denial of the deposit of faith and priests promote uh, gender confusion, devastating lives, evil, Strickland tweeted. A little, yeah, man, there's some uh, contention going on. Yeah, he's in a group, um, <clears throat> Priests for Life, mm. which... I would assume that if you're a Catholic priest, you're just automatically <clears throat> pro-life. Well, you should be, and right? so you shouldn't need it's a the separate doctrine of group. the church, right? You shouldn't need a separate <clears throat> Facebook group, yeah, to join to make that uh, distinction. I mean, it's one thing for the members to go against certain doctrine of the church, like Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi. They can, you know, that's their right. They can do that. But if you're a priest in the church, it seems like you should abide by church doctrine. Mm. But, man, there are some indications that that's not always uh, the case.